Friends, today we are in the 25th Sunday of the ordinary season. The experience of evil in the world discourages many of us. The God who is all good seems sometimes not concerned about the world. The good and bad, sinner and saints are everywhere. We look for a redeemed world, but crimes, poverty, sickness, death are our daily experiences. So often we question ourselves about the goodness of God. Is there God existing? If He is there, then why suffering to the poor and good people? Is there justice? God's people suffer and we also see some bad people enjoying life. We can't comprehend God's justice. We can't understand God's plan, God's creation. My dear friends, I remember of a story of a scientist who was having a walk in his garden. Suddenly, he saw a huge tree, the blackberry tree. As he was standing under the tree, he noticed the small blackberries on a huge tree. And at the same time, he also watched a creeper on the ground, a thin creeper, a pumpkin creeper, a huge pumpkin on the a huge pumpkin lying on the ground. He thought to himself, how stupid is God? He has kept this such a huge pumpkin on a thin creeper on the ground. And these small blackberries on this huge tree. If I was God, I would do the opposite. I would keep the big pumpkin on a huge tree and these small blackberries on the small creepers. As he was saying this, a blackberry, a small blackberry fell on his head through his nose and to the ground. Suddenly he noticed a pinch of pain on the head and the mark on his nose. Suddenly he realized, thank God, according to my thinking, if the pumpkin was on the tree and the pumpkin would have fallen on my head and my nose, what would be my condition? And he said, thank you Lord for your wisdom is greatest. My dear friends, God knows what is best, what is best for us. God has his own ways, but we human beings need to understand the creation of God because he created in his own image 
the man, the woman. In today's first reading, taken from Prophet Isaiah chapter 55 verses 6 to 9, gives a powerful message that God's ways are not our ways. And further, it is explained in today's gospel, taken from Matthew chapter 20 verses 1 to 16. The laborers are angry and arguing with the owner, not because they were not paid or paid less, but because the latecomers are paid equally, an equal amount like them. They feel jealous of God's generosity. My dear friends, God offers salvation. He wants every one of us to be saved. He wants us to accept His love, His forgiveness, His generosity and to do His will. Let us remember, my dear friends, the words of Isaiah in today's first reading. Whenever we can't understand our pain, our suffering, our difficulties. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Therefore, my dear friends, let us ask God to give us grace to accept His will in our life and to accept every human person and see them as God sees with love, care and to accept God's will in our daily life. 